Dear friends, today we are performing the experiment to find out the resistance per unit length of the given wire. Now the apparatus and material required in this experiment. First that is the wire mounted on the board as you see for which you want to find the unit resistance per unit length. Then the regulated power supply with output voltage 0 to 3 volt. Sometimes they can give you the dry cells of 1.5 volt and if we join this type of two cells in series, we will get DC output of 3 volt. Then the DC milliameter with range 0 to 500 milliampere. The DC voltmeter with range of 0 to 3 volt as you see. Then some wires to prepare the circuit. Now draw the circuit on your paper as shown in the figure. Now before connecting the meters in the circuit, check this thing, the pointer of the meter that should be perfectly coincided with zero. Now if it is not coincided, then by moving this screw given here, you can adjust it exactly at zero. In voltmeter you can see the pointer is perfectly coinciding with zero but in milliameter it is not coinciding with zero. So now here by rotating this particular screw we can exactly adjust it at zero. Now for any DC circuit the positive negative terminals are very important so, for the regulated power supply or given any meter, red terminals are positive terminals and black terminals are negative terminals. Now prepare the circuit as you see here. First connect the positive terminal of the regulated power supply with positive terminal of milliameter. Then negative terminal of the millimeter to the end of wire. Then from other end of the wire, the negative terminal of the power supply. Then connect voltmeter parallel to the wire, negative terminal of the voltmeter that is with negative terminal of the power supply and positive terminal that is at positive through milliameter. Now plug in the power supply and then switch on it. Now by rotating this particular knob you can change the voltage across the wire and you can measure it from voltmeter. Now you have to take the observations for different voltages applied across the wire and corresponding to that we have to take the measurements of the current flowing through it from milliameter. Now in voltmeter between 0 to 0 0.5 there are 10 divisions. It implies that one division stands for 0 0.05 volt. That is the least count of your voltmeter. In milliameter, between 0 to 100, there are 10 divisions, means each division stands for 10 milliampere. So, least count of milliameter that is 10 milliampere. Now, adjust the pointer of the voltmeter at 0 0.25 volt and now measure the current flowing through the wire from milliameter as you see here. Now take the measurement of the different currents for the different potential differences applied across wire like 0.5 volt, 0.75 volt, 1 volt, 1.25 volt and 1.5 volt. Now observations. 
रेंज ऑफ एमीटर दैट इज जीरो मिली एम्पियर टू फाइव हंड्रेड मिली एम्पियर एंड ऑन द स्केल बिटवीन जीरो टू हंड्रेड मिली एम्पियर देर आर टेन डिविजन्स मीन्स वन डिविजन स्टैंड फॉर टेन मिली एम्पियर मीन्स लिस्ट काउंट ऑफ ए मीटर दैट इज टेन मिली एम्पियर रेंज ऑफ वोल्ट मीटर दैट इज जीरो वोल्ट टू थ्री वोल्ट एंड ऑन द डायल ऑफ द वोल्ट मीटर बिटवीन जीरो टू पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट देर आर टेन डिविजन मीन्स ईच डिविजन स्टैंड फॉर पॉइंट जीरो फाइव वोल्ट मीन्स लिस्ट काउंट ऑफ वोल्ट मीटर दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव वोल्ट लिस्ट काउंट ऑफ द मीटर स्केल दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन मीटर एंड लेंथ ऑफ द गिवन वायर दैट इज वन मीटर नाउ फॉर डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंसिस अक्रॉस द वायर लाइक पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव वोल्ट पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट पॉइंट सेवेंटी फाइव वोल्ट वन वोल्ट वन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव वोल्ट एंड वन पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट मिजर द वैल्यू ऑफ करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द वायर एंड नॉट डाउन एज यू सी एंड देन कन्वर्ट दिस करंट विच वन इज मिजर्ड इन मिली एम्पियर टू एम्पियर बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग इट विथ टेन रेस टू माइनस थ्री एंड नाउ कैलक्यूलेट द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द वायर using this equation r equal to v by i for each observation of voltage and current so you will get six values for the resistances here and then take average of it now draw the graph of current i and voltage v and your graph will be a straight line graph now for that find out the slope so slope of the graph that is ab that is delta i upon bc that is delta v so if we take the reciprocal of the slope then that will give you the resistance of the wire so we can write here resistance of the wire r that is 1 upon slope that is bc upon ab actually that is delta v by delta i now resistance per unit length of the given wire that is r by l r that is the resistance of the wire which we calculated and l that is the total length of the wire in our case it is 1 meter but in your experiment whatever is the length given to you for the wire that you have to use here now calculation of error so equation that is delta r by r equal to delta v by v plus delta i upon i so we can write delta r that is equal to r into delta v by v plus delta i by i now here r that we have to take this calculated value here and delta v that is the least count of the voltmeter that is 0.05 and delta i that is 10 milliampere so that is 0.01 ampere and value of voltage that we have to take average of all the voltage taken here and take the average of the current measured in the observation table and then after substituting those values of v and i here calculate delta r now here from the graph we can observe this thing the potential differences across the giving wire varies linearly with the current and now write down here the resistance per unit length of the wire with error that much ohm per meter